Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From landlord disputes to dietary concerns, the Council on Aging helps seniors overcome a variety of challenges. Marianne McBride and Paul Miller from the Council on Aging join me now. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you Thanks so much. So you have so many programs serving the senior citizen community. Tell me about some of them. We certainly do. Um, we actually provide 16 programs and services in far, four departments. Social, um, which also includes our mental health programs, financial services, legal services, and nutrition services. So it really provides a comprehensive wraparound approach to services for seniors. And you're really there. You, you answer a lot of questions about aging because we don't know that until we're there, right? Absolutely. We receive 30,000 calls and hits to our website each and every year. And that's from people who are concerned about their own aging issues. It could be adult children of aging parents. They could be local. They could be across the country and, and have concerns. And so they know that Council on Aging is the place to call in Sonoma County. And you have a lot of events, too. You have one coming up? We do. We actually have a couple events coming up. On May 2nd, we have a Derby Day, which is a fundraiser for Meals on Wheels and it's at Chalk Hill Winery and then June 4th through the 14th we have our Sonoma Wine Country Games which is actually a senior games for people 50 and older and we actually have participants across the country and over 20 events uh, wow. for people to participate what in. What kind of games? Oh my gosh, so much fun. <laughs> we have archery, swimming, basketball, bocce ball, we have pickleball, table tennis, so it doesn't matter whether you need a more sedentary sport. Sure. We've got a walk run, we have track and field, we have a woman who set a record uh, uh, yeah, there There's we go. Track and you see field it right, right there. Now. Track and field. So we've had world records set. Um, we've had national records in swimming. Um, but it is so inspirational. I know a couple of years ago, I actually did cycling and was easily beat by an 87-year-old man. So really? it was incredible. Oh, that's incredible. amazing. That's amazing. Well, Paul, you focus more on the legal services. That's exactly right. And a lot of people come to you for help. We're a little, we're really quite busy. Uh, we're very fortunate. We help seniors with a whole host of legal issues, mm -hmm. largely focusing on elder law, estate planning, some landlord tenant issues, and those type of matters. Are there problems in that area for the community? For that community? There's a, unfortunately there's uh, such a underserved area. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't have estate plans in place and really don't have anything in place if uh, they become incapacitated or upon their death. And it can really cause a tremendous amount of grief to a family and disruption to a family unit. Do they come to you nervous or scared? They can often come to me anxious because they know they need an estate plan in place. They know they need something to provide for their comfort and security when the time comes that perhaps they lose, their or they lose their capacity or upon their death. And the most rewarding part of my job is seeing that anxiety melt away as if the, a weight was lifted from their shoulders when we finish their estate plan. Sure. And there's a smile that goes over their face. It's really rewarding. Just to have that support and also a plan really matters. Exactly right. You also help with Social Security and Medicare, Medicare matters? Yep, we uh, do a lot of uh, Social Security work, Medicare work, landlord-tenant, creditor work, a whole host of issues. And to the extent that we're not able to serve those seniors, we have a panel of elder law attorneys who we can refer people to. And this is all on a donation basis? There is a donation basis, and then we also do a fee-for-service estate planning work for people who have uh, significantly larger estates. But we're under market rate, and we provide very professional experience services. Okay, and here are some more pictures of uh, some of the programs that you provide. You have many programs. Do. Yeah. Do. Tell me about... Um, That's a day program right there. Um, we have four programs throughout the county. We're actually opening our fifth program. Think of this in terms of a respite program. So maybe you have an elder parent or relative or a, a spouse even who's suffering from some mild cognitive or physical issues it's hard on a caregiver. So to be able to have that respite and to be able to leave your loved one in a safe place for five or six hours a day where they can enjoy gentle exercise, uh, arts and crafts, entertainment, a lunch together, it really is a fabulous program and it really helps increase the quality of life not only for the participant but for the caregiver. 
And the participant, I mean, they can also make friends. Absolutely, absolutely. And as you age, you start losing your your support system and, and definitely your friends. Sure, so you mm -hmm. can make friends with people who are probably dealing with same issues as you are. Absolutely. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for coming on and telling us about this. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. And for more information about the Council on Aging, just log on to councilonaging.com. Again, that's councilonaging.com. Well, that's it for this week. We'll be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Have a good morning.